So we have a major issue and it has to do with seniors, it has to do with social security, and it has to do with our current Congress. And today I'm gonna to address what that is because right now there are more than 60 million seniors that are at risk, but there's a chance you could see some additional funding. You could see some extra money come your way every single month. I'm gonna explain where that's coming from, what this means for you, and what you should expect moving forward. So all I ask is if you can do one thing, it takes two seconds, go ahead and hit that like button. If you want more videos on social security and benefits for seniors, and now let's begin. One of the biggest problems that seniors have today is that they continue to receive below level poverty checks, and that's coming from social security. Now, this is a problem right now, but this is turning into a massive crisis in 10 years. Because in 10 years, you're gonna go from a 100% benefit that you receive every single month, which as of right now, it's about $1,800 on average. Well, in 10 years, you are then going to receive about a 23 to 24% cut. You would receive about 77, 76% of your benefit. That's a problem. And let me just ask you this, and you can answer down in the comment section below. If you are receiving, let's say, $1,000 a month right now on Social Security, could you survive if your check got cut and instead of $1,000, you're only getting about $770 per month? Let me know down in the comment section below because that is what is about to happen. And the reason why I'm bringing this up is because we are now seeing lawmakers question whether or not Social Security in its current form is a true benefit. Or could they do some type of reform to the program to make it stronger so that it can actually withstand the test of time? It will be solvent past 2034 and it will provide seniors with a crucial benefit that they need, not just to you know, do luxuries in life, but just to live. That's what they're asking. Now, 60 million seniors are at risk because they are receiving a check that does not pay everything that they need. They are living below the US poverty level. Now, what could we do about this? Well, here's what's coming. Right now, they are talking about doing something for SSI, and that's increasing the asset limit. Okay, that's the income and asset limit. Currently on SSI, you have an asset limit if you're single of $2,000 per month. If you are a couple, which is also preventing many people from going to get married at an older age, is that is $3,000 a month. But if you were not married and you two were together, each one of you would have a $2,000 limit every single month. That's the first thing. Here's the next one. What they are discussing at this time for social security recipients is to increase benefits, okay? There are multiple pieces of legislation that are on the table right now that would increase benefits, one of which would increase benefits by $2,400 per year. That's $200 per month. Now, as to who would get these, when they would receive them, uh, could we see it in the next uh, social security increase starting on January 1st. Here's what we know. First off, uh, this bill would go into effect immediately. So it would start immediately if the bill were to pass. Okay. Now, I don't think these bills are going to pass. Right now we have a, a divided Congress. We have Republicans who have the majority in the House. We got Democrats that have the majority in the Senate. And then obviously we have a Democratic president. The problem at this time is Congress is fighting, is pushing tooth and nail to try to get additional funding to Ukraine, to Israel, and some additional humanitarian aid to Gaza. There's also a little bit in there for the United States, but very little. So these bills would come up to over $105 billion, but there's money in there for other countries. Now, at this time, they are looking at these as a way to increase benefits, right? 
if, but again, how do we increase benefits when we're discussing a bill that's sending money elsewhere? Can we increase taxes? No, can't do that. Republicans will never go for it. Can we uh, change things up and maybe pull money from a program that doesn't need it right now? For instance, the IRS received $80 billion, which Republicans went back and pulled about $10 billion from them. And now Republicans are looking at pulling an additional $14.3 billion from the IRS. That's going to be what the pay-fors are. And in order, again, this is for the $14.3 billion going to Israel. But Democrats say we can't do that. That's not something we're willing to do. But at the same time, according to experts, they say it makes sense that if we are going to send money to Israel right now, let's pull $10 billion, let's pull $14 billion, you know, or, or a small portion of it for the next nine years that's going to the IRS. Because guess what? If Democrats were to win in this next election, which is honestly possible, they could go and pass another bill to give additional funding to, to the IRS. And then this whole thing, this whole discussion, pretty much was pointless, right? And so that's another one. They're also talking about additional SNAP benefits, more nutrition assistance to the elderly. That right now, they are concerned that they're not only receiving below level poverty checks, but they're also receiving less nutrition assistance than they actually need. And I want to ask you this. If you are currently receiving Social Security benefits and SNAP benefits, is your Social Security benefit high enough that it could pay for all your needs if you didn't have SNAP benefits? And if do you get SNAP benefits, and if you do, do your SNAP benefits cover your entire uh, monthly food costs? Or do you have to go and pull out a savings and pull from your Social Security check? Let me know down in the comment section below. You don't have to give me exact numbers if you don't want to, but I'm just curious. How many people actually get a social security benefit that is more than what they need? And how many receive a SNAP benefit that's more than what they need as well? My guess, my expectation is it's very little. Now, here's what I think is about to happen. We are going to see and I don't think it's going to happen now in 2023. I think we're going to get through the holidays. It's going to be, you know, sometime in January or February. But my expectation is we are about to see lawmakers, people that are running for election or re-election, they're going to start proposing different pieces of legislation to provide a benefit that their constituents from their state would fight for, would vote for them. That's my expectation. And the reason I say this is because historically, this happens every single time we have an election. I could go through all the different proposals every single week, and we're going to have proposals for an increase in benefits from certain lawmakers, a decrease in benefits from other lawmakers, additional taxes, less taxes, and they go back and forth. The reason I bring this up is simple. Right now, we know if the Biden administration or the, or the Republican Party can put together a piece of legislation to benefit seniors. There are 60 million people that could potentially vote for them. So let's see who's going to address this first. Let's see who puts together a decent bill that the American people can get behind. But let me know. What do you think? Do you think anybody's going to address Social Security and the risk that Social Security beneficiaries currently face? Or do you think they'll sweep it under the rug, hopefully nobody notices come the election time, and they'll just see who wins then? Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. But as of right now, that is what we know. So again, thank you guys for watching. Consider subscribing, and I'll see you guys on the next 